I am ready to go today. Do some kayaking. I'm gonna head up to Knoxville, Tennessee. Meet up with Josh. Been trying to get up with him. He catches. He does a lot of kayaking. Catches a lot of big smallmouth and just has fun fishing. And uh, I love fishing people that just enjoy fishing. We've been trying to work this out for a while, so I'm gonna head up that way. Uh, we're gonna get together and hopefully get on a lot of fish. All right, we're down here uh, loading up our kayaks, just pulling down the hill. We're gonna go about four miles yep. down the river awesome. here. The water is looking pretty good. Maybe just a little high from a lot of rain we had this spring. But uh, thanks to Josh for inviting me out. So we're gonna go out here and get some, looks good, and hopefully we can get some fish. Get over there. Oh, there goes that. <laughs> I remember doing this. Yours so much easier. <laughs> I thought mine was heavy until we lifted up yours. <laughs> oh, we got them in the water. Let's get downstream. Oh, this dude. Ice snagged. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> I was like, he got a huge one. All right, let's get situated here. Yeah, and there's a guy on the bank. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, got him. Woo! There's the first one. What? Boom! Right on a fish. Well, I've been here about 20 minutes just trying to really get going here. A little slack water out of the current. Followed up a little swim bait that I like using a lot. Nice little smallmouth. I'm hoping to catch a bunch. But um, I, I know there's some big ones in here, but you know, I love just catching anything I can catch. Boom! There's one. Yeah. Oh, white bass. <laughs> it felt really big. Well, my second fish is not what I expected, but he hammered it. When I hooked it, I was like, wow, that's something. White bass though, it's a solid white bass. <laughs> he hammered the thing. You never know what you get when you hit, when these things hit. They feel so big. There's one, little small mouth. There we go. All right, I've been, it's been about two hours. Just caught that white bass. Huh? Yeah. Just caught, uh, we've had about two hours. I've switched lures and then I switched back to the swim bait. Caught that white bass right back there. And then another nice little small mouth. It's been kind of slow, but we're getting to some deeper water and hopefully it'll start picking up. All right. There's one. Oh yeah. Not, yeah, not bad. A little bit bigger than the last one. On the Helgramite. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Oh, jump right in the boat. Oh yeah, that's not a bad fish. It's the biggest one so far, it's probably around a pound. I uh, just fished some of the slack water. And I, I've been seeing some smallmouth follow actually recently and not hit. So I, I, I threw in here with the Helgramite and got this one. They picked, what, what are the birds going on over here? Crane's being annoying. All right, let's, maybe we can get on some consistency. That's a nice fish. I do, I, I like that guy. in there. There he is. Yeah. Good one. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Don't come off, don't come off. Oh, nice. Where's my net? Ah. Oh, I lose here. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, 
Come on. Yes! Woo! That's a nice fish. All right, let me get this guy. He's no giant, giant, but nice fish. Big old bronze back. That's a good fish. I'm gonna weigh him. It's, he's like, a, he got a hump. Look at big old hump he's got there. <laughs> They're biting it really soft. And, and that's why I lost that one over there. I felt this one barely bite. I just, yeah, I, I think I'm right. I just set the hook. 2.07, so. Man, this is a really cool area over here, but there's this goose on a nest right there. We're gonna go check out this little waterfall area. He looks mean too. Wow, that's really cool. Oh, uh, we ought to get something off of this now. That's really cool right there. Got another little spillway on the other side. This is a really cool place on this river. It's all, I don't know what this is. Some kind of old dam. Maybe it was a mill. It must have been some kind of old mill back in the day, but a couple spillways here. Josh's over there fishing off that one, but a really cool little area. <laughs> He's in the current. Nice smallmouth. I figured they got used to seeing people, but if they're in that current, they can't really see that well. He's just waiting for something to drift by. Uh, he pecked at it the first time, second time he got it. He's got a little mouth, big body. This dude's eating good. Nice fish. That's, that's an awesome place to come. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the hooker might get them done. Thanks, Josh, over there, bringing me again. Well, this old uh, dam system here, rather, rather uh, is really cool. Where the river splits and half of it goes this way. We came down half, then we're gonna go back around, go the other half. We really have come a lot of the way of our trip, but we're probably gonna take our time in the next next stretch. You know, probably a few hours through here, but finally started picking up some fish. Some beautiful scenery, beautiful stuff around here. So this is actually this really turned out to be a really good day. There it is. Yeah. Oh, it's finer. Little one. Small one up here. Beautiful little small mouth. Another one about the same size. A lot, seems like a lot of them this size, but man, they're fun to catch. But this one I actually missed on the swim bait. He bit the end of it, followed up with a Helgramite and got him. The Helgramite is definitely getting the work done in these calm pockets, in calm places. Nice little fish right there. Yeah! That's a good fish right there. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. He's staying down. Might be as big as that one I caught earlier. Nice bass. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Boom! About another two pounder. I don't know. I keep going back and forth between lures. And then when I go back to Helgramite, I keep catching fish. But this is in a real slack water area. Just let it sink. And I was actually messing around. I think I was re I paddled. And then when I started reeling it in, he had it in his mouth. Just set the hook on him. They When they eat this thing, they'll eat it really soft. They just hit it really soft and just kind of hold on to it. He may not be two pounds, but he's pretty close. That's a pretty fish. 
Oh man, that kind of made the day right there. We're, I think we're kind of getting close to the end, but the fishing hasn't been on fire, but it's been pretty good. You can't be too unhappy catching some fish like this. No. Man, this ledger looks so good. There he is, there he is. I knew that'd be something off that ledge. Solid. Pretty, yeah, pretty good. No, no giant, but pretty good. I just came through here with that purple one. I didn't catch anything. Got out, came back with the natural color Helgramite and boom. Oh, hold on, don't come off. Yeah, I'll take that guy all day. Uh, we're getting close to the end here. I'm just kind of getting out and walking the bank. I switched back to the natural colored Helgramite. Had to hit this little, uh, it was like a rocky ledge right here. And uh, got this guy. You know, the, I could catch these guys all day. I'm not used to catching, I don't catch a lot of smallmouth down where I'm at, but I plan to fish a lot more rivers and creeks where there's smallmouth. And, you know, a little pound and a half guy like this is just a blast to catch, which people that fish smallmouth know that already, but really pretty fish right there. Okay. Say goodbye. Always oh, bite. Take it. Oh, I got him. Oh, no, I didn't. He had it. He was. I knew there'd be a fish on his ledge. He had it in his mouth. I didn't even know. I felt a, a little tug. I thought it was a little fish. That was, that was a good fish. Didn't set the hook on it because I, di I didn't know it was had it in his mouth. My goodness. That was a good fish. Right where I said it would be. All right, we'll come back. We'll come back. We'll drift down a little bit and come back up. Sometimes they when they bite this Helgramite, which I, I ain't getting paid to say this, but I've caught a lot of fish from the Helgramite, I know is ain't nothing I'm good at fishing, just having the right lure. Of course, you gotta put it in the right spot and fish it the right way, but uh, sometimes the right lure really makes a difference. And they love this Helgramite, they'll bite it and just lot, yeah. Good fish, good fish. Oh, I don't even see this fish yet. Dude, this is a good fish. Oh, yes. I, he, may, no, oh. he wasn't a giant, but he was at least two pounds. Ah, it came off right when I was trying to scoop him. Two fish. I don't know if it's the same one or not, but it was right in the same area. So that, like I was saying, oh, that hugger mite, they just bite it really soft. I'm using a light pole. I should use a little bit stiffer pole probably. But um, I need a light line to catch it, let, let it sink really slow. Dude, I'm catching another one. There, there's going to be a fish here. <laughs> Dude, that's what you gotta do. I'm so now they they come off. You gotta set that hook. Now let's just set it into a log or something. I don't know what to set it into. All right, I think I got something figured out here. We are actually. What time is it? It's six fifteen. We we're actually about to get done. Like we we did a little bit. It's kind of slow at spots. Real slow. As we got down to these rocky ledges, a little bit calmer water. I started fishing at Helgramite. And man, I've had like eight hits in the last 30 minutes probably, and I've lost half of them. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go back to this rock ledge and we're gonna go on downstream a little ways. It's kinda calm, float through there. I feel like I'm gonna get some fish. Yeah, I thought he was two and a half, yeah. Good fish right good there. Yeah. There he is. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> Dude, we we are on them. Dude. Yeah. We found out, we figured the lures, we're at the right time of the day, we're on some fish. That's another pound and a half bass, just, and we've, we've had like 10 bites in the last 45 minutes. He just caught a two and a half pound one, another pound and a half smallmouth. Dude, they are hitting right now.
Woo! <laughs> Dude, they are on. Oh, he jumped into my boat. That is awesome. He jumped into my boat. They're on fire right now. Dude, this is awesome. I wish I had a, uh, my scale. Just see if the links were. Let me weigh one more. And then if I won't weigh anymore, unless I get a big one. This one, I'm um, saying close to two pounds. 1.8 or 9, something like that. Just under two pounds chunk of a smallmouth this is crazy i don't know how many more we're gonna catch but they are hitting it was it was uh 10 minutes after i caught that last one there he is good fish good fish man these guys are hammering it hammering it oh this is crazy Dude, that's a uh, that's two pounds. All these guys are just chunks. Oh my goodness! I'm not even turning the other camera on. I got to save the battery on it. <laughs> Look at that fish, man! It's awesome. This last hour, hour and a half has been ridiculous. My hand's cramping. That's how many fish I've reeled in. Just a, another fish, you know. No, it's just another smallmouth. That's a little guy. Come on. Come on now. That one more time. Ah, I gotta hit that edge over there where that creek comes up one more time. I gotta do it. Got to do it. There he is. I knew it. Dude. This is a beast. <laughs> I had to come back this ledge one more time. I, I couldn't pass it up. And, it, and that's why. <laughs> that's why I had to come back this ledge. This is where I missed a big one. This may be the one, one of the ones I missed, I don't know. But uh, another two pound smallmouth. Just a fighting machine. Dude, what a day this has turned out to be. All right, putting him back, back in the water. <laughs> Crazy. There he is, there he is. Goodness. Woo! This may, be the, this may be the biggest one. Oh, this is a good one. Get in that net. Yeah. I could be here all night. We gotta quit sometime. We're, we're, not, we're not gonna fish till the bite stops. We're just gonna have to leave because the bite hasn't stopped on the Helgramite. That's a chunky. They are killing this Helgramite. Let's weigh this one. This may be the biggest one of the day. Ah, same thing. 2.1. Another one. I, I, this is at least like five where I've caught right at two pounds. Just you can't ask for <laughs> can't ask for much better vision than that. This is really good. First time being on this river. Uh we've been out here. What time is it? About six or seven hours. Mm, okay, that's good. All right. A couple little Photo Dude, that's pictures. Still such a good yeah. Smally, man. <laughs> hey, it turned out good. I'm glad. Yeah. <laughs> from what is? Yeah, from the first three hours. Till, till the last. Like, two yeah, hours, two hours. What a difference. The Helgramite is really the deal up here. 
Man, no doubt. Get it in those rocks. Well, we're back out of the water. My knees are burnt. Legs are red. It's gonna hurt tonight. Uh, Josh over here really did good, put me on the fish, and uh, kind of figured out something there at the end. And like the last two hours, man, I, I was catching a bunch of them. It was awesome. It probably turned out being one of my best days ever, like catching quality smallmouth. I caught, probably caught five that were uh, around two pounds, and that's that's pretty cool. So we're definitely gonna have to get back together. Be sure and go check out his channel. He, he kayaks and bass fishes up here a lot. He's, he, I love his kayak setup. And um, he, he knows what he's doing, so he catches a lot of good quality fish. I'll leave the information and everything like that below. Same thing. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, we're gonna load these up, go uh, take his back to his kayak. I'm gonna head back home. Appreciate it.